Welcome to Hot Plate. My name is Chef Bennett. And I'm Claire Carato. So in Hot Plate, what we do is teach you easy recipes with cheap ingredients, which you can have fun at home. And also here in the studio, we have fun. And here's the thing now, uh, like Chef said, uh, we do make the easiest recipes and get to kind of like know and learn people. Uh, we get to meet people in the kitchen and get them to get down and messy with the food. Now, I don't know what we're making up today, but I see a lot of eggs going on there, <laughs> Chef. What is, yeah. what are we having today? So today, we are strictly doing a vegetarian meal. Okay. We're doing an egg curry. Yeah. And some naan bread. Oh, naan bread. okay. Yeah. So we're going to make the naan bread yep. and that's going to be made right on our stove. Yeah. You can we're, easily we're make naan use, at home. We're not going to use a tandoori, we're going to use it on the pan. Oh, wow. Yeah. Will it be as soft? Are we making a butter naan? Yeah, it's good. Uh, no, it's not a butter. Okay, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll butter, butter it. Yeah, we'll oh, butter it my goodness. Yeah. I don't know about you guys at home, but I am absolutely obsessed with the Indian cuisine. And uh, you guys are able to make these easy recipes all on your own uh, by basically just following some of the recipes that we put up on Evo TV. Dot com. And of course, I just go through some of them and, and let us know what you think about them as well. Yeah. Uh, now, on last week's episode, I mean yesterday's episode, actually, my apologies, um, is we made, um, we had the amazing community in, uh, yeah. in the kitchen <laughs> with us. <laughs> and yeah. we made the yeah. most amazing tortilla yes. wraps and the glazed, the glazed carrots. carrots. Oh yeah. my gosh. Pineapple if carrots. you guys missed that, make sure you catch that episode. I forgot about your brownies. Oh, my brownies. What? Yes, yes. <laughs> I, my brownies were yeah. pretty good. I, do <laughs> I promise you they were and they were super easy and you guys can follow the recipe and make them in your own kitchen as well. Sure. Now on today's episode, uh, we have, I feel like I should have like gotten more healthy before calling these guys in today know. you know something you know gotten more in tune with the workouts that, you know? <laughs> I hope you won't feel intimidated I, I feel like <laughs> I know no I there's no need <laughs> now on today's episode we have the amazing uh, light well they're workout vloggers mm -hmm. um, health uh, guys who basically serve up some of the work routines that they normally do um, in hopes that you guys at home will be able to get in tune with them as well. Yeah. Now on today's episode we have, I can see them flexing at the back, that's why you see that, that <laughs> smile on my face right now. Um, we have the amazing Just Jimit, that's Sheeb and Frankie joining us in the kitchen. Welcome. Hey, welcome guys! Thank you. Yay, how are you? Good, good, good. Oh, good to see you. Good to see you Karibu, too. Karibu, hi, how good, are you? Good, 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 good. good, good, good. <laughs> Karibu, please have a seat. Let me serve you guys a drink. <laughs> Thank you. Let me serve you guys a drink as we start. Mm -hmm. All right, so we get to the get to know your guest segment. Mm. Now, during this segment, basically what you do is just tell us a little bit about, tell us a little bit more about just gym it. <clears throat> For example, when did you guys start? deciding that the healthy route i'm so sorry i'm serving you guys up a fizzy drink which is not as healthy uh but let's just say that it's uh this for today let's spoil them a bit i know oh, yeah. Uh, yeah once in a while cheat days is what you guys call them right all well, right so how did you guys start um we started what like three years ago yeah okay. around three years ago okay um i just come back from the uk yeah Shiv was around for a bit um, okay. and we kind of got into the fitness. I, I, I had the fitness uh, background. Okay. So when I came in, asked him to join me. Yeah. And the rest is history. The, that's much. what they say. Yeah. All right. We basically saw a gap in the market. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and how have you guys worked towards filling this gap? How has been the response in terms of, because I know a lot of people out there are getting healthy. I don't know about you at home, but I try. I try. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't really say my health, my eating <laughs> habits are the best, but how do you feel this gap has been filled, especially by what you guys do? Um, I feel like uh, we bring diversity, we bring a unique way of looking at nutrition and fitness, just not the usual, um, you know, aerobics and what you see and what you're used to in the gym. Yes. Uh, we show people that there's more than one way of doing it, and. Um, Especially in nutrition, yes. we are flexible yeah. dieters okay. and we advocate for more or less eating everything and anything as long as oh. it's in, within your recommended portion. Okay, so all that matters is portions. Yeah, see, yeah. I like you guys already. Yeah, Especially the much, fact yeah. that you guys said it's anything yeah. and everything. Yes. Now, yeah. I could work with that type of nutrition. I don't know about <laughs> yeah. you guys at home, but I could definitely work with that. Yeah. Okay, and then so you basically serve up um, a meal plan and a workout routine. And this is both for guys and girls. Yeah, for yeah. pretty yes. much anyone. 
Uh, just depending on your goals. Yes. So if you're looking to add weight, then we'll alter that to your oh, body wait, type. Oh, You mean there are people who come up to you and yes. be like, who want to add weight? There are people who, who add can't really yeah, yeah. Add, add weight. Oh my goodness. All right. Yeah. So um, I love the fact that you guys, first of all, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that um, you guys also kind of like show that it's so much, I mean, it's easy to also do yeah. some of these workouts in the house with just day to day. I mean, uh, the ladies, the babies, you yeah. know, you yeah. can be in the kitchen, a pot, some pans, and you can easily just incorporate a lot of the things that you have in the house to work out. Yeah. Now, yeah. we do have a clip for you guys at home. Uh, maybe you can just uh, take a look at this. I don't think it's Pretty as hard, easy. Man. Yeah, I don't right? think it's as it wasn't easy. Wasn't too hard. But it must have taken <laughs> a lot of, you know, dedication. Because I feel yeah. like with a lot of these routines, you have to have discipline. Yeah. Discipline is like one of the number one things when it comes to working out. Because most people start. <laughs> uh, and then you know stop along the way or give excuses so that discipline to keep that consistency going yeah. is, is is amazing yeah. yeah good job guys all right so chef is going to be telling us what we are going to be making in the kitchen I with you guys today with your, oh yes yeah, so we're going to start with the but what are we starting for maybe you can tell them the starters okay, and the dessert uh, so I mean, our main dish we're going to do an egg curry okay mm -hmm. uh, served with naan bread okay mm -hmm. if you guys have made that before no never and first never. of all <laughs> awesome i've so had today, egg curry but i've never Made egg curry. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. very simple, and trust me, you'll be able to do this at night. Yeah, easily, right? Easy, very easy. And here's yeah. the thing: Do you guys cook? 
Yes. Yes. We yes. Do, yeah. What are some of your go-to meals? Steak and eggs. Steak and eggs. Okay. Steak. I feel like that's Steak. protein and protein. What yeah. Happens? yeah man. I'm what like, what to happens balance? to the balance when it comes to dieting? But then again, like you said, it's eat whatever and anything, right? Yeah. If it fits your goals, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of it. baked stuff okay. and grilled. Yeah. Well, yeah. baked in terms of like baked potatoes. Yeah. So. Oh, uh, so you don't do a lot of the fried jacket potatoes and no, sweet potatoes no, no, and not stuff too much. Like yeah. Okay. I grill a lot. Yes, yeah, so that's grilling. perfect, and that's always like the healthier version. All right, that's amazing. Um, now I'm gonna be making the strawberry sorbet. Now they do know me as the I love desserts. Desserts are like my favorite thing. So today I was having such a hard time uh, thinking what healthy dessert can I <laughs> yeah, make? I I'm like my desserts are tons and tons of chocolate. Chocolate and yeah. sugar, and I don't know if you guys are sweet too. Um, I am. Yes? Chocolate, oh, yes. Perfect. <laughs> so you see, I told you, done it. So I should have made a non healthy. A brownie. And bro ah. brownie. I should have made a brownie. It's brownie okay. A catch our episode <laughs> for <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> we did the, a, a very dark chocolate brownie that was very delicious. delicious. Yes? Yeah. All right, so straight to the, um, to the whatever, guys. I think, uh, Frankie, maybe you can start by helping me out. All right. uh, so, what I need you to do is basically just drop those uh, watermelons. So, you need about a quarter. Uh, shaved watermelons. Yeah. Just drop them into the blender. Uh, can I like rinse please wash my hands your hands, first? please? Yeah. Yes. Now this is a very easy recipe and healthy, yeah. and especially during summer, it's one of like my go-to desserts, especially like for the kids and whatnot. They love it. All right. So, so I just, just put everything drop, yes, Just drop it in there. Okay. And the fun thing about this dessert is like most people are like watermelon. Are they sweet? Like, what can you do oh, with yeah. them? They always have this flat, there's no acidity whatsoever in a watermelon. Sorry, acidity. that was not peeled. We can just peel that one. Consists right here uh, like a lot of water. Yes, they do. So, so that's really why they're very hydrating, yeah. and I love them. So we're just gonna add a, a dash of sugar um, yeah. in there, just to add that extra sweetness. Um, just, just go ahead, just pour that in. Oh, the whole yeah. thing. <laughs> you're like, it's, I, it's I was doing a, a dash, so I was like. <laughs> 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 and then just squeeze a little bit of lemon in there. So that's just basically to add the acidity um, to that. The zing, the zing which you need. And then we're going to give that you a don't quick mind blend. The seeds All the seeds um, that's in fine. there. The that's seeds fine. That's fine. Can go in there. Still, you're gonna we're going to sieve it right, right after. Right. And that's it. That's all it takes. So maybe, Chef, you may help us. Thank you. Thank you, Frankie. No problem. And See then just give that, that a quick <laughs> <Very> blend. <laughs> That's all it took. Uh, that's the cover. And quick, give this a quick blend and then you uh, basically sieve it, pop it into the freezer uh, for about an hour and a half. As you take it out, mix it and then put it back. Let me just help you with that. All right. And that's all it takes. Do you guys make any shakes uh, for your routines? Plenty, especially as post-workouts. Okay. Yeah. So it's those easy are good. Quick to take it. Why do people? Sorry, I got a full one here. Why do people uh, take shakes post-workout? Um, it doesn't have to be post-workout. Okay. Be at any time, but I feel like it's just quicker because you're probably heading somewhere. Okay. From your workout, so okay. if you're in the car or in the bus or walking, it's easy to just get in what you so need from what a shake. Does, what do the shakes look like? Just like a normal, like eating a fruit? Uh, yeah, well, depends just on what you like. Easy. So you're just throwing what you like, what fruits you like, what protein shake you like. Yeah. Okay, and do you guys, um, now I don't know if I should, I should ask this question, <laughs> but I, I know a lot of, uh, you get a lot of young boys asking about uh, these mixes, the mass gainers that we get in stores, and um, and how do those work? Do, are they effective? Are they healthy? Would you advocate for them, or would you normally go for the food-based protein? Like you said, eat anything, gain yeah. mass by yourself. Yeah. yeah, you get what I mean, then work for it us, out. For us, we prefer like making our own mass gainers. Okay. So the shake is a perfect example. You can throw in like a, uh, a cup of oats, peanut butter, Maybe a scoop of protein and yes, fruit, and yeah, a fruit good. in there, and yeah. you're good to go. It'll give you the exact same quantity in, in calories okay. as the mass gainer. Yeah. Okay. But also the difference is mass gainers, they pack it with a lot of sugars. That's right. So yes, they can tell you it's high in calories, yeah. but it's not the calories that you require. Okay. okay. Yeah. But yeah. if you make it yourself, you know what's going into it. Perfect. So you guys Love like it. do you like have you ever tried the what's it called the Uchi Omena? I've been hearing oh, guys yeah. from that thing. Yeah, yeah. You never tried it. You never tried, tried it. it? No, never uh, tried okay, it. Okay, but like. That must taste very interesting. 
interesting. I'm not going to try that. Not too sure for that. I know, right? <laughs> okay. I know. So, oh, basically, sorry. After you sieve that, basically, guys, just yeah. put it in. I'll, I'll put this in a flat so it can freeze a lot faster. And then I'll give that a quick mix after about an hour. Um, I'm just going to squeeze some lemon juice right on top for that extra kick and pop this into the freezer. That's it. Yeah. All right, Chef, take us away with the main, please. Okay, and uh, let them know how they can help you. Yeah, so what's our? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, we should start with uh, coating the egg with some flavor. Uh, so, Shiv, you can, you you can, can be up yeah. now. Yeah, you can be up now. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and this is just a very easy recipe you can make at home. Okay. Uh, it's just a one, two, three. Okay. okay, so what I want you to do is like take an egg and just like slice it a bit, just like an inch yeah. of the blade. This. Now, Chef, this is a well done boiled egg. Yeah, well done boiled so egg. So you make sure that you boil your eggs well done. And uh, basically like what that does, what that cut is doing is, is going to be, it's going to enable the flavor to kind of like sieve through. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Oh, that's going to be amazing. How many cuts does he need to put? Just uh, it one? It doesn't matter. Just like, just around the egg. Okay. Yeah. And like put like four four cuts or yeah. five, whichever you fancy. And I can see there's a lot of ingredients over here as yeah. well. So this is basically so for the curry. Can what, what, you take us through some done. of these spices? Okay, uh, so what we're going to use today, we're going to okay. use some turmeric, paprika, some cinnamon, yeah. some cardamom, uh, some cloves, okay. some garam masala, yeah. and some uh, mix, uh, what's it called? Uh, my bad. Mixed spice? Yeah, this uh, is some mixed spice. spices. Uh, Cumin, cumin. The cumin. My God. Okay, that's fine. And then I can see some fresh chilies. Okay, we have some here? fresh chilies and we have some garlic paste. Oh, that's ginger. a garlic paste. Yeah. All right. So, so what, what are some start of with? your favorite meals to make? You told me. You told me yours is the egg and steak. How about you, Shiv? Um, mine's also steak. Oh. <laughs> steak wow. and potatoes. Oh, and pota roast potatoes. Roast potatoes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. With any vegetables. Perfect. Nice. So, so uh, you guys, are, sorry, Shiv. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, so we'll start with some turmeric some paprika but you can put some chili if you want just depending on what you like and that's a teaspoon a teaspoon a teaspoon a teaspoon okay and then you just drop the eggs inside okay oh wow just give them a bit of a shake let's coat them well that looks good already I'm just like, I didn't expect yeah. it that soon. Yeah, yeah, I was like, give it time, simmer in there. No, yeah. I love the color that's given it already. Yeah. yeah, that's beautiful. All right. So okay, and we're done with that. So we'll start with our curry. That was good. So you make. Yeah. The, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Very good. Um, or, or we should ask them how how do they like their steaks? Yeah. Rare. Steak rare. Like, oh, yeah. also. So literally just. A minute, a minute. Oh, nice. That's it. Yeah. Oh, some guys wouldn't wow. like that. Yeah, that's yeah. perfect with some red running. Oh, oh that's, that's amazing. Yeah. That's okay, delicious. may I do mine medium well? Yeah. But, oh well. <laughs> Everyone has their taste, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, uh, so we just wait for this to heat, heat up. up a bit. Heat. And then we start okay. with our curry. Yeah. yeah. So I love how fast Sorry. this is and I love the fact that it's already gotten, gotten that beautiful color yeah. right on that white and the slits as well is going to make that flavor just infuse no, when we make, in there. When we put it in the curry, the curry sauce, yes. it's all going to infuse inside. Oh wow, yeah. that's going to be delicious. Now we are getting into our kitchen hack segment which is um, uh, something that we kind of like help you work your way around the kitchen easier and we're just going to play for you some clips and we'll be right back. Yep.
Now, we have been in the kitchen uh, with the wonderful gentleman from Just Jim It, and we are making, uh, we've just popped in the sorbet. If you're just joining us, then welcome. We've just popped in the sorbet, uh, watermelon sorbet, into the freezer, and the chef has just coated those eggs with a lovely color, with just a bit of spices, and I love the color that it's given there. And now we're about to make the curry, uh, which is basically what is what we're going to put the eggs into. Yep. And of course, we will be showing you guys at home how to make naan as well. Now, have you guys ever made naan? Nope. No. Exactly. But do you like it? Yeah. I'm obsessed with naan. I'm like, nice. exactly, it's Butter. delicious. Yeah. Those are it's actually, awesome. it's butter awesome. is my favorite. My sister's is garlic. So that's pretty, it's gonna be pretty exciting to get to know how to make that in my, you help me make naan. Ah, chef, yeah, yeah. I love it. <laughs> All right, so what, so I think that both guys, of you can you come here. You are the, the ones cooking the curry today. So, oh, okay. yes, <laughs> you are. So okay, don't give them any cooking. instructions, just let them do it. No, why should I give them instructions? I I'm just kidding. throw everything I know. inside because I know. Okay. I'm just kidding. Just push the egg in. I know. So it's very simple. <laughs> so You're lucky because the ingredients are already onions. there. Yeah, so. everything. Everything. Just put ah. it. We had like two onions. Bam. So that's two onions that's two onions. gone in yeah. there. Yeah. And stir it up. And this we will let's saute them until they brown a bit. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So other than the steaks, uh, what are some of the recipes that you also like to make in the house? I actually don't follow recipes. Yeah. I just um, go into the kitchen and if it's chicken or beef or fish, I yeah. just look for what I feel like would go yes. with it. Yeah. So I never repeat the same thing twice because I just... Oh, is that right? Yeah, I just oh, cook with amazing. what I feel like. Oh, that's Yeah, actually... whatever spices are available, and I go with that. Yeah, okay, so what, what's in the house, basically? You open so, the fridge, well, and you're like, what's in the house? Yeah, the favorite is, where I go with thyme, oregano, um, black pepper, paprika. Oh, wow, yeah. Um, so that's how you know if salt. guys actually cook. Yeah. Because Chicken the spices. Masala, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. you've so got those the spices, my go right? Yeah, yeah, those are my go-to spices. Okay. Then maybe with honey and yeah. um, a bit of cinnamon for some sweetness oh. or nutmeg. See? He's yeah. even doing the for the sweetness, yeah? yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit of cinnamon. <laughs> yes. I'm like, shame. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay that's those are my go-to. Uh, okay. So onions are yeah. ready. The onions are ready. Okay. And maybe uh, mushrooms. So you can oh, yeah, start with uh, I like spices. I know. Get a lot of spices. <laughs> 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 all of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, just a teaspoon, like half of that. Uh, so okay. what's going in there? So we're, we're now putting the spices. All right. With some I think she, you should help him with the spices. Do the measurements. Yeah. The measurements. <laughs> yeah. Do the measurements. Can you eyeball it? You can eyeball it. Yeah. Just as done. She was on Google today morning. That's why he knows all these things. I'm like, he threw out the oregano. Like, yeah, like, you know, I yeah. do oregano. <laughs> 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 uh, this is <laughs> everyday spices. This is my everyday okay, spices. So here we have a uh, cinnamon stick. <laughs> oh, okay. We have cardamom and we have uh, cloves. So you just drop that in. Oh, okay. Mix it all up. Now those are whole, so you don't yeah. need them ground in any way. You, you can use grounded if you don't have them. Okay, but that's it's better. Fine. All right, what does she need to put in uh, there now? Now we can put some uh, Chef uh, Chef. garam. Masala. Yeah, with the, sorry, there's no oregano. <laughs> Your daily spices are not in More this bit. mix, Chief. Okay. <laughs> Some in this. Okay, let's start it up. I love the smell that it's getting already. Yeah. I yeah. put the garlic in there, not yet. Not yet. Now, not yet. I, I see it as some smoke coming out, Chef. Now, is that okay uh, when I it comes the to pan the spices? Is hot, so the pan is I, hot. And also the spices the are spices cooking are also. Cooking. Yeah, so, it's, so it's, they, it's, it's, it's pretty normal, so okay. it's okay. And then okay, what goes we, in there? We add the paste, the ginger garlic paste. Mm. Okay. That's also good for high blood pressure. Is that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And is that um, the raw garlic, though? Um, well, uh, it's... So. It's still in your body, no, so as long as you consume it, the, like, I think it's Cooking it okay. doesn't like, d affect any form well, of, Some you know. would say it would kill some of the nutrients, yes. but that's if you're overcooking it till okay. it's done. Yeah, and completely. Then, yeah, yeah, but <laughs> if it's... Okay. Then if so it's not, it's yeah. fine. Uh, Claire, right. we have added the uh, tomatoes. Okay. And then we're just going to leave that to paste, the tomatoes to paste. Okay. Like for five minutes. So. Yeah. And uh, you can just like stir it up a bit and then <laughs> cover it for a minute. I know. <laughs> Good job, Frankie. I'm I know. The real chef. You're the real chef. This guy's a Google chef. He just threw spices into the pan. I'm pretty sure we can. <laughs> but that's what cooking is. So you just throw a bunch of things in. I love it. Hope it and marries. hope it, it does. That's the hope fun thing. Marries, yeah. he's, he's actually a, a chef because there that is go. exactly what you do. You basically just uh, whip that's up and you exactly can always get. <laughs> you can get as creative as possible in the kitchen. Yeah, um, yeah. And I feel that's the beauty of cooking. It's yeah. just marrying different flavors, like you said, and, and you know, making them work. 
All right, so I see some fresh chilies going yeah. in there. Why? So if you if you want like the chilies to give you a good punch, okay, you just cut them lengthwise yes. and just drop them in. So if you cut them in uh, small like this, this is a kachumbari, yes, it doesn't give you that kick okay. that you want. And also if you don't want it too hot, you can just remove the, the seeds. seeds. Yeah. Please, yeah. please, please, please. Yes, yeah. Remove the seeds. Not too yes. hot. <laughs> so, but it's still gonna be mild. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Okay. All right, and then, okay, so you guys, I'm going to need you to come back. Thank you for helping right. us in the kitchen. No we are just about to pop into the challenge section. And a chef has an, a, a pretty interesting challenge for the guys today. <laughs> so here on Hot Plate, uh, we get our guest challenges, uh, basically kitchen stuff. Uh, so I'll give you an example. Yesterday we had a quiz. Was it quiz? A uh, quick fire. Uh, yes. He called it the quick fire mm -hmm. uh, for the lady who had joined us. Uh, sometimes we get to see who can cut uh, onions the fastest and your best technique. Uh, don't worry, it's not anything that you can you can't do. Okay. Uh, so today, chef, what do you have uh, for <laughs> the guests? Okay. Mine is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you almost guessed it right. But you it's actually pretty, are pretty <laughs> close. Now okay, so I love. Why did you say that? That's the one thing you can't. To do right, I can't make you can't Sorry. make chapati. No, but the goodness of none, it doesn't yeah. have to be round and even like triangular. no, we they need it to has, make it but round. We want you guys to make <laughs> it, they round have to make it round. As possible. All right, so we're gonna clear this area for you. I know, so basically, <laughs> okay. the challenge today is to make uh, the perfect circles. Perfect circles. The perfect circles uh, roll out the door. The perfect circles. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> the sheep looks very scared Challenge there. Accepted. Anything Challenge baking. Accepted. Anything <laughs> baking is now. Love it. Okay. Uh, but first, so you guys will pick which one you want to use. We yeah. To make the. All right, our chef is going on there preparing the challenge that we will be having for our guests today. They're pretty excited. I can see uh, Frankie grabs the bigger stick. It's not going to help you. It's your technique that matters, okay? And then, uh, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to give this a little bit of... Um, a time as it simmers it's just cooking up and, and letting those tomatoes just kind of like soften up yeah. which is perfect all right i love that now are you guys ready ready chef are we ready yep just a minute are we gonna time them <laughs> I think I've only used uh, this for, one. okay first we'll have to show them how to make <laughs> the nun and then and they can do the rolling okay so basic, basic. When I'll just give you a little tip. When it comes to rolling dough, uh, the basic technique is um, you just work with the dough very slowly. Don't like rush, and then keep turning it and rush so you get the perfect circle. Yes? <laughs> no? So, no comprende? You should see your faces. Yeah, the whole thing is like I'm ready for anything. The challenge is the person who can make the perfect circle. The yeah. perfect circles and the most in a limited amount of time. All right, but guys? you guys will do the dough. For yeah, we're doing no. The dough yeah. is already okay. done. So, but first we have to show guys how to how to make the, make the okay. dough. Yeah. Okay. So this is a basic dough for nan. Um, and you guys, this is my. I'm actually very excited about this because I'm always obsessed with the Indian cuisine and the fact that I'm going to be able and you guys at home are also going to be able to create your own dough uh, to make nan without necessarily having the tandoori. Mm -hmm. Now the tandoori is uh, the traditional kind of like oven yeah. for a lot of this uh, the chicken that they make. The reason that it's called Tandoori chicken is not because of its color or the spices that they use. It's because of that oven, the traditional oven, yeah. which is called a tandoori. It's uh, like a hollow. It oven. does. It's just hollow and it's hot. Yeah. Uh, hot. So they <laughs> usually make uh, their naan in there as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but for those of us who do not have a tandoori, <laughs> what we're gonna use is a pan. A pan All right, yeah. chef. What do we do? Okay, so we have here uh, two cups of flour. Okay. So we just put it in, and yeah. Two cups of plain flour. Now, plain flour. can they use a whole, I mean, a self-raising? You can use self-raising. You can use self-raising. Yeah. It will not mess anything. <coughs> it won't mess anything. It'll even add a bit of a something. Okay, in. so I see you've added a bit of a hole there. Yeah, that's the that, well. That's the well. Okay. So we have here a teaspoon of uh, yeast. yeast, a teaspoon of sugar, Okay. and a teaspoon of salt. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, that looks amazing. So yeah. basically, this then we're going to put some, some uh, lukewarm water. Lukewarm yeah, water. Not too cold, not too hot. Now, why not hot water? Uh, it won't work well with the yeast. Okay. Yeah. So basically, what you're trying to do is get that yeast to foam. Yeah, the yeast to foam. Yes. Just leave it like for five minutes. Okay. Just for it to foam. Yes. And then while we wait, we put who some. Who wants to get dirty? Okay. Uh, down who and wants dirty. to get dirty? Down and dirty with the okay. flour. Okay. So we can add. <laughs> you want to get dirty? Just under the bus. <laughs> 
So All right, like, team, that's um, you being thrown under the bus. <laughs> You're going to need that dough. <laughs> just uh, half, a cu half, a cup of, uh, half a cup of yogurt. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And then now just like get in there. Okay. okay. Let's coat so everything this the is yogurt. the perfect thing about working with dough. Is it the feeling it? You know, a lot of yeah. people use the wooden spatulas, uh, which don't necessarily, you won't be able to feel the texture of the dough. Mm. And what's the consistency we're looking for, just chef? Like, I, I want to, like, to incorporate the yogurt and the flour. Completely. Yeah, completely. Because we'll still add a bit of water, a bit of flour. Okay. Yeah, while you go. Do we need to give this a quick mix? Yeah, you can, but if you want to quick things out. Yes, yeah. we do. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to give this a quick mix so that that but sugar... But you can leave it like for five minutes if you yes. really don't have a hurry. So that sugar, I love the fact that it's already kind of like incorporated yeah. in there. So that looks good. Okay. So we just add like, you know, the yeast mixture. Now that mixture has again sugar, salt, and a bit of yeast yeah. with our uh, water. Yeah. Wait, are we gonna leave it to sit for a while, or are we just gonna take it straight to so the pan? So like you leave it like for an hour. Okay. For it to rise. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Now, chef, I see it's getting a lot sticky. Now, are we gonna add any form of oil, or that's fine? We we'll can just keep flour. going. Don't worry about that. <laughs> All right. I think I know how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I know. He's is thinking. he doing the right thing? Yeah, he's doing the right thing. He's okay, good. so just, just keep going. Maybe, maybe chef, you can help him out there now. <laughs> or do you got it? Yeah, Kusawa. you can help him out there now. <coughs> yeah, Kusawa. Oops, sorry. Okay. That looks pretty good. Mandazis have like never been made in the house, chef. No, 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 no. No, no. 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 <laughs> okay, let's try and like, the chef. <laughs> wash your hands. All right. Remove the excess That's fine. Flour. Just go with one hand and like okay. try and knead it. That's perfect. I think let me let me help you with that. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I'll I'll just finish it <laughs> off. You go <laughs> Maybe you can just go ahead and wash your hands. Finish <laughs> you finish it up? Alright, thanks. Sorry. No problem. Alright, I, I believe we have another dough. Yeah. So you keep that going, make sure it's a bit soft. Soft. Uh, and yeah. then let it sit for An one hour. hour. Yeah. One hour. So the consistency you're looking for is a this nice soft. And, a pliable and it should double, dough. Yeah, it should double its size since you have the yeast. Okay. And then you'll just coat it with a bit of olive oil. Okay. And you'll be good to go. And you'll be good to go. All right, uh, Chef, now where is the other dough that we had prepared for these gentle? Nampochini. All right. <laughs> Now this is dough that we have been letting sit uh, for um, about an hour yeah. uh, plus and you can already see that it's doubled in size. Yeah. That's what you're looking for. So should I just give it a quick punch? Just like poke it a bit. I can poke just, it just yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Okay, just that's okay. The just to release the air. So once it's risen, you can poke it just a little bit mm. uh, to kind of like release that air that's in there that's formed. And what I'm going to do, oh wow, that is a very soft dough chef mm. look at the that is the consistency you're looking for now i'm gonna come here um give you guys okay. a half and half uh make as many make any size chef yeah uh obviously we'll just like use like a golf ball size yes and uh, we're giving them how many how many minutes chef one minute yeah a bit little, little, even less but we'll just give them what? one minute, since one it's their minute? First time. one minute so they've got one minute and your time starts now. <laughs> I feel like I should distract them. <laughs> I know. I, <laughs> that's actually a pretty good circle. Oh wait, Frankie, you were right to take that one because it's rolling on its own. Like the shave has to like do it the traditional yep. way um, of, of, of kind of like flattening that dough. I feel like you guys are working with only the two. Am I distracting you? I hope I am. <laughs> that, that, that is close to a circle, guys. Close, very close. Oh my I like the fact that so she, she was thinking it's time, like he's flattening it completely. He's looking at it. He's looking at it. So and Frank is kind of just going with it. Now, how many more seconds do we have, guys? You have 10 seconds. All right. 20 seconds. Yeah. 10. <laughs> okay, now we're on our turn. Okay, now we're on our turn. Five. Four, three, two, one. Time's up. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Almost there. Those are actually um, pretty decent. decent. Uh, you guys should see <laughs> the, the rolls that have been made here. Pretty decent chapatis we've got going on there. I mean, none. Yeah. Uh, that's a good shape. I can see that they're not giving up even after the time is done. <laughs> they're like, nope, I'm finishing up the edges. <laughs> yeah, well, yes, I know. perfect. All right, 
Yeah. Go ahead, uh, go ahead, guys. Do as much as you need to to make sure those circles. I feel like that looks like Aussie. How do you make? And one looks like Kenya, actually. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Chef, how is this going? Okay. It looks like so, it's semi so it's, it's already a, being a paste. It's already a paste. Uh, yes. So we just add like a quarter cup of water. Okay. Just mix it up a bit. <laughs> no giving up. I love it. <laughs> the time was done a long time ago, but these guys are persistent. Like I'm, they are I'm keep on cheat. rolling that dough until they achieve that circle. <laughs> now, I'm gonna cheat. You guys need to see this. <laughs> <laughs> has gotten a bowl to cut the perfect, perfect circle. circle. You know what? We did not give uh, we didn't give any rules. Yeah, we uh, as any rules. we got you did. to I we did. did I think I won rolling this pin. One. There's <laughs> no <laughs> knives and there's no bowls. <laughs> I think I won this circle. one. <laughs> There's no awesome. knives. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's the perfect, That's perfect. circle. I feel like that would be such an easier way to make chapati. Yeah. All right, guys. Okay. Good job. So we added some water. I win. <laughs> okay, here we have uh, coconut milk. Okay. You can also use the decanted. Is it decanted? Yes, uh, uh, this de centricated. De de oh, okay. Yes, yeah, coconut. Yeah, you can use that with water. Okay. Or you can just use the coconut milk. All right, now I feel like if, if, if people don't want to use the coconut milk, you can what use else even can milk, you use? You can use milk, you can use cream, you can use this depending on the flavor you want in your curry. Okay. Yeah. You that, that looks up. so creamy, guys. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I can't that wait to taste awesome. that. I know, yeah. right? And it smells amazing as well. Okay. Okay. Good job, good Frank, job, guys. <laughs> Frank He's rolling out the one that he cut out. <laughs> oh. Now, we are just uh, added a little bit of coconut milk into that. Uh, you can add milk if you need to, yeah. sorry. sorry. Uh, um, but I feel like coconut milk gives it that extra flavor mm. that you need when you're having a bit of uh, a curry. Yeah. And it's going to marry so well with the boiled eggs. You can yeah. wash your hands, yeah. guys. Thank you. Thank you. So we just, this uh, is the naan that we're going to have. Finish up with the eggs. Now, uh, I don't know about you guys at home. Uh, we had uh, Frankie doing a little bit of a cheat there uh, with his <laughs> nan uh, to form the, per uh, the perfect circle. And of course, we have uh, Sheeb who pretty, he did a very decent job as well. I feel like, I feel like you're the ones, you, I mean, it's not easy to roll out chapatis, especially for the first time. Mm -hmm. I think you guys did a pretty good job. So, yeah. Chef, what do you think? We can still cook these naan? Yes. Yeah, we can still cook. We're going to cook them oh, exactly as they are. Cosawa. With this one looking like Kenya and this one looking like <laughs> Australia. <laughs> <laughs> we, we are going to cook them. Yeah, now, so how long does this go so for? Let's let it simmer for a bit like four minutes. Four minutes. Four are we going to cover it? Yeah, we can cover it. We can cover it. So mm -hmm. that's basically going to lock in all those flavors and it's going to simmer properly. And we have the pot going on there. Now, Chef, Chef, do we put oil on this pot when we're making the no, naan? We're not making no, we're oil. Oil. no oil. Okay. okay, so that goes right on top. Yeah, and <laughs> there's a secret I learned from a pal of mine from, okay, he's also Indian. Yes. So what they do is like they paste it with a bit of water. Okay. And why do they paste it with water? You'll see. Okay, you guys, maybe you can help paste the others. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of water, just. Oh, but you just bit. washed your hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's okay, yeah. I'll do that so, for you. Don't worry. You can have a seat. Yeah, and then you just put it in the pan. So, why do we paste it with okay, water? Now, like, because like you want it to chuck out like a uh, tandoori naan. Okay. The water will make the, the dough stick in okay. the pan. And then now we'll turn the pan upside down and use the flame as the tandoori. Oh, wow! Yeah. Have you guys at home heard that? I am so excited to um, to see that happening. Yeah. Now, I don't know, what if it, does it fall off? Or it takes a, a the, while to the, fall off. The water sticks to the pan. The water helps uh, the naan to stick to the pan. Yeah. And you see how the tandoor uh, kind of has the flame on the because side. Because, yes, you see that they on the panga. Exactly, and that's the it, then it does. Yeah. Oh, have you guys ever seen the way naan has been, is prepared? Yeah? So that's gonna give oh. no. I have <laughs> so not, not much. <laughs> Do more yeah. eating than now. Then then watching it being made. Right? Okay, so basically uh, it sticks on that on that kind of like oven tandoor mm. that they usually have. Now that's what we're gonna try and recreate here. I know. <laughs> I was thinking you're going to The what? Going all the way in that water. We've gone yeah, all the way without water. He was like <laughs> he was dabbing it. You just <laughs> I poured the whole thing. <laughs> Chef, I've, I've, been told, I've put too much water ah, on it. You, you were dabbing and I'm just like... <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, wash <laughs> chapati. Yes, now, is that okay? Now, for uh, the guys at home who make the same mistake yeah, that okay, I've made. Okay, this is like 
just use your, both your fingers and just baste it in the pole pole. Okay, guys. <laughs> They're good looking out, guys. I don't know if I've messed our naan, but... Uh, <laughs> so at be home, fine. be careful that you do not wash your naan like <laughs> I've just done. What you do is basically just use your two fingers to kind of like tap on there. Yeah. Now, okay, now, so uh, if you want here's, to know, here's the best part, guys. If you want We're to about know, to like, get to that. it's getting ready. Yes. You should see the bubbles like protruding out, out like on top. Okay. And now you'll start knowing like humans are even done. Yes, you can see the, yeah. the bubbles yeah. right at the top. So that's okay. the yeast working also. And like basically it's like you're baking in a way, but... But not really. Yeah. Okay, so this is the part we've been waiting for. Will you yeah. give it a quick flip? And if it doesn't backfire. I, I hope so <laughs> too. Oh, it did, it, it did. Backfired. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. Let's try. Let's, let's try, try your hot let's try your wet with chapatis. My, with my wet chapatis. Oh, All right, that, I'm going to try my theory. I, I think the Indians, that, when the, it's the Indians wet. just put it like... I think, yeah. <laughs> Or maybe you need a non-stick pan. It is a non-stick pan. No, uh, it's a stick pan. No, oh, a stick, stick pan. pan. <laughs> <laughs> it's working. It's, 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 it's working, guys. Look at yeah, that. Yeah. That perfect. is the perfect. And then hey. wait for it to kind of like cook on top as well. Yeah. That looks yeah, absolutely okay. delicious. Come, sir. That's what I'm going to know. I'm going to know. Check the screws. Are you ready to try yours? So basically, just give it a quick. That actually is enough. Don't, don't, don't over, over, over flatten it. it. Because you still need that flesh <laughs> inside. Flat. Don't over flatten it. It's okay. You still need the flesh. How are we going to get this like... out? That's, that's the question. How are we going to get this out? Okay, so which part have you put the work in? Jesus, you just <laughs> ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> I messed his roll. Oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can go ahead and just. I, I needed to get it on first and put it on the pan and maybe give no. that a quick cook. So decide which side you're gonna put water on. Yeah. All right. All right. Mine's going on next. Sheep, you wanna go on no, first? No, I think this is yeah. good. Next. <laughs> All right. Whichever. Yeah, now go. Make, which one's you, going on yeah, first? This one's. So have you put enough water? I think so. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he has. <laughs> uh, but right before we get back to the cooking, we're going to go on a short break and we'll be right back. The bubbles now, are welcome it's back. Dropping. We have been routine of getting the naan to stick on the pan uh, as we flip it over oh and goodness. give it a quick uh, char on one well. side. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but okay, give it but if, if it doesn't work, you can just, just cook it like a normal the... chapati or something. Okay, yeah, I yes. think so. <laughs> but uh, we I wanted to try it. something new also. Now, you guys at home can try this technique that we've just shown you and let us know if it works uh, for you guys and how, how good it works for you guys at home. <laughs> yeah, we've uh, seen for a lot here, of we had quite a, quite a little bit of fun uh, making it a disaster because <laughs> uh, that's exactly what happened here in Hot Plate. Now, we're just going to basically cook that, uh, but, finish but, cooking but if that you, off. If you touch the nun, I will just tell me the difference with that and the chapati. It's thick. It's like yeah. it's, yeah, it's, it's, okay. it's also spongy. Yes. Yeah. So that's now the, we're the... finishing off the naan yeah. as the curry is actually simmered. Uh, I feel like it's done about uh, 10 minutes, so to speak, yeah. um, in that in that curry that we've just made. Um, it looks delicious, chef. Take and it. I can't wait to try it. All right, guys, maybe we can take a quick scene before we serve. You can check your watermelon. Exactly. Now, meanwhile, <laughs> we had been uh, freezing up some sorbet so i'm just going to give it a quick check looks amazing proper frozen what? i had done um a, a very flat surface so it can freeze faster so i'm just going to basically mix this up because sorbet is basically it's like broken broken up ice wow. all right it's amazing doesn't it we're going to have it like ice cream or claire ice cream. Yes. Are we going to have it like ice cream or what are we going to do with it? Um, well, I, I wish I had an ice cream scoop. I know. <laughs> now, for those at home who don't have an ice cream scoop, that's fine. You can get as creative as possible and basically just give that a quick shave. Now, I love putting it on a flat surface so that you can get these um, really small bits of ice going on there. Um, again, sorbet can be, should not been have this frozen, it should not be this frozen. Okay, okay. But what I'll do is I'll put a couple in the freezer that are less frozen, uh, that will kind of mix up with this one. So you have that uh, juiciness and, and, and icy yeah, right. bits going in there, which is perfect. <laughs> That's tasty. <laughs> You don't is know, this, have you uh, had a sorbet this, this before? This reminds me when I was a kid. Uh, yeah. okay. You guys used to do that, like put some juice in a cup, and put it in the freezer, yeah. and then you just like it with yeah. a spoon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. reminds me of that, man. <laughs> I know, 
but the good uh, thing memories. about about uh, fruits is that you know how when you do that with juice you you take all the sugar out and yeah. then you're just left with the water, water which yeah, is yeah, 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 colored ice. The good thing with the fruits is all through you get that consistency with the with yeah. the fruit. You get because you didn't, add, never, any, you didn't add any water. Like, no yeah, water yeah. was added in here. Well, apart from because I mean watermelons already have like their water. own water. Yeah. So I'm gonna get the other one out there and then kind of like mix it through. All right, chef, how are we going with that? Yeah. So like this is what you want to see. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yep. And we're done. Good. So we're just gonna give it a quick plate. Um, I'm gonna give this a quick plate as well. I know you're gonna go ahead and try one. Be my guest. So you see this one? This is this is what you're looking for. So you guys at home, you make sure that it's almost semi-frozen, mm. but you still got a lot of that color and juice. It's not complete ice. And then the same thing you did with um, this ice one is just quick. Give it a quick mix. And like break it apart and what i'm gonna do how does it taste there frankie good, good, good yeah yeah okay and then what i'm gonna do is incorporate the wet one with uh the completely solidified one and then just give that a quick mix so that's going to be for more of color yeah. and you get that uh, runniness as well going through there which is perfect and the good thing about this is um mm. you can sort of like serve it up like ice cream <laughs> Right, and you can let it also sit out, so you can let this mixture sit out to melt a little bit, and then pop it back in the, in the freezer um, again. Oh, I'm so excited about this! Now, kids love them. Kids, my kids love this. So you can also turn it into an ice lolly, you know, of any, any sort, and then kind of like add whole fruits in there. So put some strawberries in there, mm. uh, put some, some, some grapes in there. Oh yes, that would be perfect. Yeah. Put some grapes in there as well, and then just fill it with the liquid. So you have the whole fruits in, inside the ice lolly. Yes. All right, guys, and that's it. Maybe we can get to tasting that and let us know what they think. So we're just gonna divide this quarters for the serving now. So again, we do, I know people, we always say um, mm. here at Hopley that we do like to make the plate look a bit nice because you see, we're so used as Kenyans to putting the food in the middle of the plate, you serve yourself. Um, uh, straight from the kitchen, you just serve on your plate, yeah? yeah? So, you know, you can take time to make the plate look pretty. Mm -hmm. It doesn't hurt anybody. So that's what Chef is doing, basically just plating that for you guys. As I get this sorbet going. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Awesome. Here we have it, the egg curry. Mm. That's yeah. so good. <laughs> Great. It's okay, sticking. you guys can go ahead and dig, dig yeah. in. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't sure if... You guys, this is an Indian delicacy, so Finger I food. don't think spoons will be... No. Finger food! Yeah. food. Is, up for it. <laughs> <clears throat> is it hot? Let's see. So you're just going... Just in. dip it. Huh? Okay. And be honest. <laughs> yeah. I'm packing my food. <laughs> too hot, too uh, now, man. Huh? Perfect. Good. That's good, huh? Yeah. Really nice. good. Thanks, man. It's good. So, is it something that you guys can now easily be able to make in your kitchens? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, you see how simple it was, right? Yeah. Very. But you can even substitute it with meat. Now, honest opinion, guys. How do you guys feel about that? And how easy was that to make, like with eggs? Simple, right? And it's not too much work as well. Well, apart from the nun. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the apart, I know, <laughs> apart from the nun. Now, we are going to jump straight into the dessert, uh, which is those lovely sorbets that we had made earlier. I've just drizzled a little bit of lemon right on top. Yeah. Um, here you go, Sheep. That looks good. Uh, now, taste the sorbets and let me know what you think. I love that it's so refreshing. I'm telling myself already what I like. <laughs> mm. wow. And you guys are able to recreate these amazing... Sorry, what do you guys think about the sorbet? It's good. It's I refreshing. Like the, lemon yeah. the lemon on top, just yeah, that little can, kick can that it gives, lemon. right? Yeah. Yeah. It needs a hot day. Yeah, needs yeah. A hot day. Needs I a hot know, day. right? That's the thing. It does need a hot day. And right now, the weather is super... It needs a hot day and you're sitting outside and it's 
perfect. And then it's oh, perfect. Awesome. All right. Um, now you guys are able to create the meals that we've been making in this kitchen on Hot Plate. Uh, basically, just go to ebrewtv.com, try out some of these recipes that a chef has been able to serve up, and 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 me, <laughs> and and <laughs> and Frankie and Sheev. And of course, thank you so much for joining us at uh, the studio today. Us. It's been so much fun. And please do check out their pages. That's going to be in the description below. Um, basically, just follow a lot of the work that they do and get healthy, people, including myself not maybe yes thank you so much it's been so much fun i'm claire Caracho. and i'm chef bennett join us next time on hot plate as we get to serve up more amazing meals and meet wonderful people um on on this set in our kitchen good night